Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Watson Michael from Ceylon Institute of English and Leadership. And this time, we have an interesting guest with us all the way from the UK, Mr. Kobe Sharma, right? So he's the author of The Curve Ball, a story of great adversity and winning the game of life. Also, he's a professional speaker for organizations on productivity and mastering change. And the interesting part is, he is the son of one of the world's best leadership gurus and author, Robin Sharma. Kobe, welcome. And how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, Watson. Great to be here with you. Thank you. Great to have you as well. So Kobe, what was the reason for you to name the book, The Cobalt? A story of great adversity and winning the game of life. So I wrote, wrote the book 2016 when I was a, a law student, actually. And okay. I called the book The Curveball because, you know, it is a curve, like a curve in the road. You know, mm. how do you navigate the curve in the road? Pretend you're driving straight. But there's a curve in the road. Yeah. How do you deal with that? And so in many ways, it's a metaphor for life, unexpected mm -hmm. challenges, difficulties, and adversity. And I wrote the book because I faced a difficulty personally in my life, mm -hmm. too, when I was a teenager. Yeah. Because what's most personal is also what's most universal as well. Yeah, and that's why I call the book the curveball, mm. so I can help it to use help others who are faced with their own life, you know, difficulties and challenges and how they can overcome them themselves. Yeah, absolutely. So even as a teenager, I faced some challenges like you know I was bullied around, so I just never. It was sometimes it was very uncomfortable going home. You know, after being bullied by people, so. But I was so lucky that I got a job when I was eighteen, right? So, so things changed actually, right? So what, what was the first job? Yeah, so I was a travel assistant. So uh, it was a it was a clerk. So I was a travel assistant, right? And I was the youngest, right? So if I was not yeah. uh, mistaken, uh Four of us uh, met at an interview, and uh, three of them uh, were twi no wait five of us right, including me. Three of them were at the age twenty five, and one was about twenty one or twenty two that time. So I was the youngest, like you know, and I was eighteen, and I had long hair, and uh, yeah, and uh, the guy, the assistant human resources manager who interviewed me, he was a former major in the army. And he told me, oh, wow. yeah, and he told me, if you are willing to cut your hair, I can select you for a further interview. But if you're not willing to cut your hair, I'll disqualify you. And I was like, oh my goodness, this was something new to me, <laughs> right? And I said, all right, I'll cut my hair. So history made, right? So yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So well. Uh, what is what is like what is so special about this book right so i heard that this book was released during the pandemic right so where most of us faced adversity to the maximum well we faced a heightened a heightened level of adversity you know mm. people were in a scarcity mindset they not an abundant mind abundance mindset mm. you know they were Toing and and froing, because their their very survival was at, at risk. You know, yeah. you know, not in a not in a material way as well, but like, would my business survive? So many, so much volatility was was happening, mm. and I chose at that moment to release the book called the Curveball. Yeah, because I I thought it had something to offer the world. Mm. And it, does, it still does have something to offer the world. Yeah. So, uh, 
what do you see like i mean like see uh, we these days we find uh, many people right going through social media various other things they get demotivated right so sometimes they look at a movie and they think like they they can lead that life but life is always not a movie to end happily we go through the curve like you said right it's a curve the road is a curve right yeah so uh, how do you think this book is going to like you know uh, help people right let's say who are facing adversity well this book contains i'll show you this is the spanish version mm. released in spanish last month wow all right congrats so the book contains four essential ideas on going through adversity and just managing yourself reactive proactively as opposed to reactively so the first one is going through adversity one step at a time you know mm. setting out of perfection and embracing inner reflection yeah the second one is being in control of your responses you know the third one is is managing your rituals mm. the whole process of like ritualization the fourth one is having a team always with you yeah when you're at your lowest because they yeah. can help you feel right at your highest 100% 100% i agree with you i mean without a team i mean uh, success is always difficult right so either you look at a football match or a boxing or mma match it's all the same right so just before our podcast i was enjoying ufc 300 right live on the tv so i was like checking the coaches like i know after each round the coaches were coming in they were advising them what you should do how you should do like you know so you need the team you need the team to help you a lot Mm. you do you, you can't do this on your own you know mm-hmm. like it, while i mean the 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 old adage is to go uh to go fast go alone but to go farther go together absolutely and it depends you know people can take that what they how they see that fitting into their lives mm. but relying on a team is vital to your point that's why football's 11 aside mm. it's not one aside it's 11 aside <clears throat> yeah talk about it right so from your area i mean so much people gathering to watch football matches wow all right so um i mean, i i so I, a lot of the audience might not be interested in sports so let's take the discussion away from that but if you look at in business you know you have you you have to lead a team now you could do it like we had in the past uh there was a lot of silos around silos around uh, you know the divisions a lot of hierarchies mm-hmm. and my approach is to argue from a a bo- uh, uh you know a bottom up structure as opposed to top down you know mm-hmm. help people to build to build bridges and not barriers mm mm-hmm. that's a good one Yeah. So now it says uh, about this book where it says time tested wisdom and powerful daily tactics to realize a massive turnaround. Can you elaborate more about this? Uh, about what, about what? Sorry. Sure. So um about the, about the book it says on um, Amazon time tested wisdom and powerful daily tactics to realize a massive turnaround. So can you elaborate more about this? Well the 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 lessons in the book and how the protagonist in the mm. book you know applies the lessons it, who is struggling in his own life and how he bounces back from that I, I mean obviously you must have read one little blurb in that in that extract mm. but you know it really summarizes what the protagonist goes through in the book and i think in our own lives we can certainly use the ideas in the book to have a turnaround in our own lives whether personally or professionally mm. so uh, when you say uh, kobe uh, time um, tested wisdom this this comes from a collaboration of uh, 
stories which happen happened around you or as well as others probably so uh, when you say about time tested wisdom did this happen around uh, i mean did this happen something with your life or whether it happened with other people or is oh. the collaboration of both the impetus behind this book was very much my own life oh okay but well, it's not a non fiction book okay right so uh could you are, are, are you reading just from amazon yes yes from amazon amazon we got that yeah right so um the other one is can you can we discuss about a preferred chapter of yours in the book a preferred chapter of mine in the book in the book yep yeah sure great which one would you like me to just anything sure. any, anything of your choice i i mean a, a whole chapter or uh, a brief story about a chapter up to you i'm not i'm like i don't have you know the 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 whole time the whole chapter in front of me i mean that's fine just about a chapter how it makes a change i think the point you're missing is the focus on change is it's a process it's not an outcome though mm. so for people in your audience watching today you know they can take the lessons from the book and how that applies into their own specific lives mm. that's it right so any anything preferred you like to discuss about the first chapter of your choice the first chapter yep well the first chapter is with the protagonist in the book he's at a lowest moment mm. and he meets a mentor yeah and then how the mentor mm. takes him on a journey and how he finds success again mm. so we all need mentors in our life actually to help us uh, improve so uh, very true so um, up, up to date like what was uh, one of the most challenging thing ever you faced and how did you overcome it most what was challenging things i faced i overcame it mm -hmm. well i mean i think it would be it was self doubt you mm -hmm. know self doubt can be liberating or can be limiting it's up to you to decide what you want to get out of it how you want to perceive it i worked uh, in banking in 2019 wow it was one of canada's largest like banks and it was my first time ever working in finance you know i i was very new to the industry i was mm -hmm. brand new as yeah. complete unknown yeah. and i had to rely on others around me to give me that sense of belonging <laughs> and comfort and that really let me feel very welcome and mm. i was able to do the job fine wow okay right so um can you summarize this uh, book in one sentence the curveball will help you live life on life terms during life's inevitable adversities mm. great so uh would you get any message right from your experience any message you would like to give people like uh, who want to change who want to make a change in life like how to face adversity from and how to bounce back strong because a lot of people these days like when it comes to negativity they get demotivated right and uh, like they don't want to keep moving forward like sometimes they give up but one thing is we need to keep going forward no matter what were the challenge we face to have a what do you do so when you're feeling demotivated mm -hmm. it's really important to have the like the goal that you're aiming for it be very crystallized you know um have a goal that's very like crystallized so you don't get demotivated mm. then i'd say it's a coming down comes down to breaking down adver adversity one step at a time you know breaking it down breaking it down breaking it down breaking it down you know you go to the gym and say you want to lose 
<clears throat> 30 pounds. Mm. But you have to start small, you know, break it down one time, one at a, at, at a time. And I, I think so much of so many of us just want to get adversity out of the way because mm. we're not comfortable doing in in adversity <clears throat> or or doing in pain and discomfort because it's not a human emotion really to feel to discomfort. We want to just get out of it. Oh, too cold. I want to get out of get, get out of. Uh, the cold plunge, for example. But mm -hmm. no, go through adversity one step at a time. Control your responses. That's how you win. And that's how you get better. Absolutely. Wise words. So, Kobe, uh, thank you for taking time. And uh, in this podcast, any final message to our viewers and listeners from you personally? Sometimes you have to lose something to find everything. Sometimes you have to lose something to find everything. It could be a small loss, mm -hmm. but that in that small loss lies the secret to your most purposeful gain. Absolutely. Great, Kobe. So thank you very much for taking time and doing this podcast. I'd like, I'd, I'd like to share where sure. people can uh, get the book. They can get the book on Amazon. Uh to your listeners, viewers in the Indian subcontinent, you can get the book in all good bookstores throughout India uh, through Jayco Books. Um, I'm a speaker, so if you're interested in having me speak to your organization on resilience, becoming more productive, dealing with change, I'd be very happy to do so. Please get in touch with me on um, via DM. Connect with me on LinkedIn at Colby Sharma, Instagram at Colby Sharma Official. Absolutely. So the links will be given below where you can uh, get Colby's book from, even you can get the Kindle version where you can keep it for a lifetime. And his LinkedIn link also will be there at the description below. So thanks, Colby, for taking time and doing this podcast with us. Watson, take care. Bye. Really, really appreciate it. Take care. Take care.